Welcome to Level Up with CMJ. Hey, my name is Joe, and this is my Craps Master Dice Shooting Journey. Let me just give me a few seconds here, guys, before we get started here. Um, I had to change my microphone around, which is why we're a little bit late here today. I'm just going to make a final adjustment here, and hopefully that'll be within range. If you are playing Crapsy here, guys, make sure that you get onto the Crapsy table. The code is on the screen here. So we have the R9 J5 R3 Crapsy code. Get your bets in. And this is session episode number 65 of the Blue Belt Level. So I'm going to make my bets here. And I am going to treat it as if it is a $10 table. And I am considering going to the casino this afternoon. And for the first time in a very long time, actually, and we'll see how the rolling goes. I will probably let you guys know tomorrow if I do go and how it did go. So again, make sure you get onto the Cropsy table and let's get her started. Let's get it going here, guys. So we're gonna go with roll number one. I have decided instead of doing the 100 rolls right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go with uh, one hour's worth of recording. So if we can get in anywhere between 50 to 100 rolls during that, 100, uh, during that one hour time period, that would be nice. And I don't see what's going on here with the um, crapsy. We gotta figure this out. Uh, obviously, this is brand new to me. Puck is off, and we need to go with... For some reason, my bets are not... Oh, there we go. Let's go. I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to get out of Crapsy here and get back into it again and see what happened. And crapsy froze on me. So we're going to get out of it and get back into it again. So I apologize for the late start here. Good morning, Dylan. Apologize for the late start here, guys. This is, um... Not working for me right now. Crapsy. There we go. We got our table up again. Okay, place our bets. So let's place the bets. And I'm going to do a sister press and pull. We're obviously just going to practice that today, um, and this is something that I'm considering doing at the casino tonight. And again, this is going to be on a ten-dollar table. Okay, let's see who. If anybody's on here yet. I don't think anybody else is on here today, but hey, let's get going here, guys. Let's get her started. And we're gonna go with a five four five four hardway set today.
And this is going to be roll number one. We're starting at 76 on the tracker, if you could, on the KPI roll tracker. And here we go. And we have a 4-4 four, four hard eight square pair will be our first roll. So eight will be our point. And we'll make sure that KPI roll tracker is engaged here. And that it is. So it should be coming across and that works out nice. So we have a four, four hard eight. Cable code is up on the screen here, uh, Marble Fork Ben. Ben, uh, it's R9J5R3. And again, this is my second time using Crapsy. So, second time on my channel at least. So, we're going to. Um, get this going here. Okay, dice are out. We're coming out, and no clue why it's not registering there. Oh my god. R9J5R3, that would be correct. Guys, I apologize. Today is Sunday. Uh, it is the weekend, and we are trying to get this to work decent. And for some reason, it is not working for me. And let's jump out and get back in again one more time here, guys. So let's see what happens. We've only had one roll today. <laughs> not too successful. So we might be trying this as a... Uh, as a trial basis today. We're gonna to go to group table here. We're gonna to go to level up. And there we go. I think it did take this time. Um, it did not. So we got hold betting. And we're going to come up with a 4-4 four, four for the first roll. There we go. Now I think it's working. So place your bets. And again, like I said, we're going to be practicing here. Um, I'm probably more than likely going to be going to the casino today. We'll see how it goes. And we're going to go halt betting. Hope we got our bets in. Um, I'm going to double check here to see if there is more people in here. It's very hard to read on mobile devices, okay? I will take that in consideration. And I see that Marble Fork is on here. That's awesome. Welcome. Um, let's see if we change that code really quick here, Dylan. I appreciate the... Um, Suggestion there, and and guys, this is going to be kind of a um, kind of a uh, trial basis today. Here, guys, we're going to get this stuff going. We're going to go with um, let's try that. Is that better there, Dylan? Does that look better? And if so, that's awesome. Thank you for the suggestion. There you go. Good morning, Randall. New to live, but love it. Awesome. Uh, welcome to CMJ Level Up. Purpose of my Level Up program, guys, just so everybody that's new knows, is I'm on a dice shooting journey. I am uh, on the blue belt level, so please go back and check out the past sessions that I have. 
Um, this is episode number 65 of the Level Up program. But our goal is on the blue belt level here to um, get into a 5,000 row tracking. So in other words, every Friday I'll go through and I'll report out my results so far. And right now we're at about 3,000 throws into the blue belt level. Now this is the second time I've done the Crapsy uh, app on my channel. So we're going to try to make this a regular thing. And today is kind of a trial and error thing to make sure we have it going smooth. So we're going to halt the betting right now. And we are ready to go. Roll number two. Long into the uh, session here, and we're only on roll number two. So let's get her going. And we have a 617. So we have a 0.7 out. Not a good start. But it is a start, and uh, we will work this stuff out as we go. And again, this crapsy is not working here. Seriously, people, let's get this working. For some reason, it's not updating on the thing. Randall's on a journey as well, thanks to me. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this has been quite the journey so far. And now we're just throwing a wrench in with the crapsy. Um, but this is all, like, like I said, all part of the journey. So we're placing our bets. We have got one roll in. And I'm gonna probably keep my bets out for the time being here. And maybe that's what's throwing everything off here, guys. And um, we had the 617. So I apologize, guys, for that um, point seven out PSO. And let's go with the next roll here, guys. And we'll halt our betting. Sorry about the short betting on that one. And we're going to go with our next roll. And we got a 5-1 mixer. That'll be our come out. Our new point is 6. And it's kind of fun here because we're working with two different computers, two different keyboards, two different everything. I don't see what I'm doing wrong here, guys, on the crapsy because I'm entering everything in the way it's supposed to be, and it's coming across, and it keeps on freezing on me every single time. Actually, yesterday, uh, Dylan Crapsy did slow me down a little bit, or two days ago, it did slow me down a little bit, uh, but not too bad. I did not have any of the problems that I'm having today, the other day. Um, so that is one of the things that's really perplexing to me. Um, but it does add another wrinkle to the wrench, another wrench to the wrinkle, another however you say it. And that last one was a 
There we go. And it's a good good thought. I, their server might be um, slower in some of the days. It says one of three is ready. So this shows me how many people are ready on the... And that might be, guys, what's going on here is I have to wait for everybody to get ready. Let's try that once. Yeah, that's I think that's what's happening here. Is I have to wait till everybody's ready. That's interesting. Okay, roll number three or four here coming up. And we're gonna go with two two hard four. Ballerina. And that is weird because it's still not updating. It, it takes the dice when I enter it in. And then it just kind of freezes up. I wonder if it's my computer. I'm able to get into it right away. I think it is crapsy. I think it is because it just um, gave me a, oh shucks, oh snap it said. So in other words, there was an error on that part. So let's go. We're just going to keep on rolling out, guys, here. I apologize. I'm going to try to figure out the crapsy thing, but I do want to get my rolls in for the day so we can move on into Sunday. This is roll number, I'm not sure. And we've got 855 hard 10. So puppy paws. I definitely think it is a crapsy thing that's going on here because it's kind of froze up on me. I closed all my other um, tabs. And we had a Two, two. That time it worked. We'll halt our beds one more time. We'll get caught up here, guys. Should be working again. Okay, we are all caught up on Crapsy. For some reason, I closed all my other tabs on the computer and it seems to be working. Okay, so we're gonna go as if it is working now. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's a little slow. So it must be a Crapsy side thing. And we got a 5-4 center field nine. Okay, now we are getting hopefully on the road here, guys. Hopefully on the road to get going. And that is roll number four for this shooter. Born to CRC. So John has the same issue. It's a computer resource. It's computer resource hungry, which may well be. Um, I'm using it on an older computer, but that's the only thing that's running on that computer right now. I have got two computers running. My live stream is actually on my new computer, so that way I do not have any problems at all. I'm want the live stream to go smooth. The Crapsy is just going to be an extra resource right now. 
Now we're going to keep on going as if we don't have craps here right now. We have a 4, 6, 10. And we're going to get our rolls in for the morning. So we'll see how that goes. Um, that's our second 10 for the day. And Crapsy is out the window for today. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that Crapsy coat off for the time being. And that is going to be a no-go for today. There we go, guys. Erased. Taken off. And out of the picture for now. We're going to change our keyboards around here, guys. So that way we got... Only one keyboard to work with, and let's get her going. And I apologize for that, guys. We will get this issue worked out. I will get with somebody and figure it out. Okay, here we go. And that was a little bit long of a roll, but we got a 3-3, three, three, heart 6, two trees in the forest. So 3-3, three, three, heart 6. <laughs> Give me this. Now we're going to have issues with this one. Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, my God. It's giving me one of those days. Maybe I should stay home and not go to the casino. We'll see. I know the girlfriend, CMJ, is uh, itching to go. She went the other day. Did not ask how she did. She's a slot player. And we got a one, six, seven. So that is a seven come out because we did hit our point on the last one. So that keeps the roll alive. We're going to be on roll number eight. I split a little part, part a little bit of my fingers when they took off, uh, which is something that usually results in this right here. But that's all right because it still is a come out. That is a double pitch. But we got a come out seven yet here, so still continues the roll. I appreciate the support there, CRC. Um, I am definitely trying to make this work here. And um, just so you guys know, if you do do a super chat, which is greatly appreciated, but not not needed, or expected, I should say. Uh, we got a 6-6 six, six box cards. But anyhow, all money that is brought in will be put towards the uh, table build that I'll be doing hopefully soon. And that table build is going to be a donated in November, should I get it done, before the craps for cure. I'm going to be putting it up for auction. And by table build, it's going to be a uh, receiving and throwing station. It's going to be pretty cool when it's done, hopefully, if everything works out the way that I am designing it in my head. And we got a one, six, seven. Start to feel like Alfredo here. That's another come out seven. That is the bad seven, because that is the seven that, um, yeah, Marvel, you're saying that if you have several tabs open in Chrome, that craps, he does drop memory. I only have one tab open on that computer, and that is the Crapsy game that we're actually doing. Um, and Dio is saying he hopes that Crapsy does not throw my game off. I don't think it will, and if it does, um, it'll only be a temporary thing until we get things figured out. But I kind of look at this as training to be in a real casino, to tell you the honest truth. And this is why I think about it this way. You have a three, six, nine, center field nine. This is why I kind of think about it this way is because when we're in the casino, guys, everybody's trying to distract us. You're going to have the stupid idiots coming up and, and trying to work your way in. 
you're going to have the box man and the dealers who are talking and asking you questions and trying to get you involved in whatever. So, I mean, these are all just different distractions that are going on in the casino. And honestly, to make it more lifelike at home, some things like this actually will help you to get better at the casino. I live a 628. It came easy. I don't know if that makes sense to everybody, though. So we'll see. Um, but, you know, that is one of my biggest things. Good morning, Narno. That is one of my biggest things when I'm actually at the... Um, That's a great question, uh, CRC, if it can be um, downloaded versus using it on a browser. Um, I'll have to hook up. Maybe our now will be available later. I can give him a call or or I know, I'm not going to bother Alfredo because he's in Vegas right now. But maybe Arnell will be able to sit down because I know he has contact with the creator of Crapsy. The guy's name is Chuck. He's from Canada. But 437, double pitch. But hopefully, guys, hopefully that makes sense. You know, the distractions, although you don't want them, that might be good training here for myself and that. So, okay, we got 20, we got 15 rolls in for the day. Uh, pretty slow start, but we're going to be picking it up here now. And 6410 Wayland's best friend, Wayne and in Daddy Joe. That is our new point. And one of the th reasons I wanted to add in Crapsy to my game in the morning is it brings in new people. Um, I noticed a lot of the other creators are, are bringing in a lot of new people, and it's basically because of of Crapsy. So that is one reason. And we have 6410 again. So that is our point. So we made our point and we hit our point. We're coming out again. Um, it brings new people into the community in that. Um, so I'll have to look at that. <laughs> I was talking about the little cut cocktail waitress dresses. Uh, which may be the case at your casino. At my casino, that is not the case. I work, I go to an Indian casino up here in Green Bay, and trust me, they do not have cocktail waitresses that look like that. <laughs> and we have a 4, 6, 10, back on a 10. So that is a hot number right now. Bet the 10. Um... <laughs> Interesting. I will have to go through, or no, Craftsy has an app on Android and iOS browser for Windows. So if I enter in on that app for, because um, I have a Samsung phone, so which is Android, if I enter in on the app, would that allow me to do that? So in other words, if I've got a tablet or another phone, God forbid, because I already have three phones going right now for the uh, at, or for the live stream here. But if I got another phone in that, would that help take care of some of those problems? 617, bad seven. So we're having both die off axis quite a bit today. So we gotta figure out what's going on with that. Peppermill has some cuties. Very nice. Arnell, you're married. You should not be looking. <laughs> uh, we all do, though. Just don't act. Dice are splitting when they land there. We have a 5, 6, 11, yo, 11, mid mo yo, 11. And that is a come out, so that is a pass line winner. So you do use it on your phone to input. Okay, that's good to know. 
Um, I'm gonna have to see if I can figure out how to do that then because, and this is the reason why I say if I can figure out how to do that, is because I'm using my phones right now to run the live stream. So I might have to drop a camera in order to get Crapsy working. Five, four, one, five. And if I can do that, maybe I will go out and pick a tablet up and we use a tablet as an input either for a camera or for the Crapsy app. So something I can look into. And we have a 5-1 mixer. Chris from Sideshow Gamble showing up here. And by the way, if you haven't checked out Chris's channel lately, this last week he had a video come up. And it was his part of his new app, or new, new app, new series called his Desert Series. And in his Desert Series, he's actually going through and he's teaching one of his co-workers, Jordan, how to play craps. So kind of neat. I will say that it's really good to see Chris back into the swing of things again. We have a three, five, eight, eight came easy here. So it is really good to see him back into the swing of things um, and at least adding to his content more than what he had pre-taped prior to leaving. And we have a one, two, ace, deuce, Alfredo sauce. Talking about Alfredo sauce, he should be down in Vegas as we speak right now. And I'm sure that they're going to be on the uh, tables going well. I'm looking very forward to the reports from the Blue Ranch crew that's down in Vegas right now which is um, like Alfredo and Jeff from Middle End of Craps and Sleepy2525 and um, a whole host of other people. Big AZ, obviously, because that's the leader of the crew. We have one, six, seven. Another bad seven, that is a seven out. Short rolls today, guys. Um, We're going to go through at least one more shooter's worth here, maybe two or three more shooters. We'll see how it goes, how I'm feeling. And be completely honest with you, it feels like I'm warming up finally here. Five, six, mid mo yo, it's come on 11, pay to pass line, take the don'ts. As far as the shooting competition goes, guys, I am currently sitting in fifth place of the top eight. And top eight are going to move on to the next round. The next round is going to be a lot more difficult. I asked a question yesterday on our behind the scenes Skype group. Um, and the question was, and we have two, four, six, easy six. The question was, I know that we are going to be going on a point-based system the next round, and I know it's going to be head-to-head, -head, or we're going to be going up against one other person the next round. But the question is, is how many shooters worth or how many rolls do we get for this? And the answer was one shooter's worth. <laughs> I almost fell over when I, saw, when I saw that posted. So in other words, we're going to go one shooter's worth in this next round, and um, it's gonna be head to head, so we're gonna have to set it up at a time that the other person that we're going up against can also be on the stream. And it's gonna be one shooter's worth. In other words, we're gonna go until you go seven out, and then they're gonna take the total of the points. And my comment back was, wow. <laughs> and then my comment back was, put into pressure on big time, two, four, six. And I also commented, um, that these are going to be some pretty short videos coming up because the way some of the people have been shooting, they've been doing a very short first throw or first round. And then the second round of their shooting has been 
pretty good usually. So, but if we're going to have only one shooter's worth, that's going to be very, 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 very difficult to continue on into the competition. But we'll see how it goes. My suggestion or thought process, we have a 437 that is double pitch at right die, bounced and kept bouncing there. But my suggestion for the competition was to maybe have like 36 rolls. Um, and the best or the most points scored in those 34 or 36 rolls would be the winner for that head to head competition. But we'll see what goes, what happens, um, how it goes for the competition. Again, we're going to be the top eight. So one and you're done. Meaning if you lose one time, you're out of the competition. Two, two hard for Ballerina. And let's keep it going here, guys. And 1-1, one, one, Magic Aces. Larry's in the house. So Dylan hopes that Big AZ saved enough money for the group made up, make up, meet up. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he's been planning this for a while. So, and if he didn't, then hey, he's still kind of the leader of the group. Still gonna be fun to meet up with people, whether you have the money to go or not. Uh, three one four Big Joe from Craps Master Journey. It's our first three one four today that I can remember. If you guys didn't uh, see already, I, I added a new video to my collection yesterday. Um, we went through the 6262 dice set, which is considered to be part of, and this is through Dylan at Skill and Walk, 5-5 five, five, Hard 10 Puppet Paws. Through Dylan, he brought it to me, uh, to my attention. He calls it the No 5, No 9 Dice Family, 6262. Um, six, two. Check out that video out. It's only about six minutes long, and it goes through the different things that the 6262 may produce, assuming that you it rolls out however it's said in the video. Um, but if it stays on access, if you throw the dice and they stay on access, it's going to be, we got a 6-6, six, six, hard 12, midnight, if it stays on access, there is no way to roll a six or five or nine with that dice set. So check out the video, guys. Let me know what you think. Make sure you give me a thumbs up to that video. Uh, let's push it out into the YouTube algorithm. And we have a five, six mid -mo yo. And we're definitely having a off access issue today. Almost every single throw we've had either one or both of our dice off axis here. And a dice split apart about me a little bit that time we got lucky though we have a two three five no feel five. So yeah, we uh, have had a tough start to the morning here. Um, I got up and I started getting everything set up a little bit early today because I'm trying to get the crapsy thing working. And in the process, I noticed that my microphone is not working. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out why that's not working. And it was just, just, a crazy start to the day. Two, three, five once again. Just a crazy day. So hopefully the microphone sounds all right today. 
um, I had to put in a new source. If you know anything about OBS, you put in sources or or um, yeah, sources into your scenes. So I, all I did is repeated the same source that I had before, and now it's working. It's really weird. Um, whereas the other source was not working. And we have a 4, 6, 10, with his best friend way in the end. Daddy Joe. <clears throat> and we're fighting against the rules on here, guys. And that was our point. So that's good. We're going to do a come out here. And we have a 6-6, six, six, hard 12 again. Midnight. Which is a pass line loser. That's good, Dallin. Thank you for the uh, feedback there. Yeah, it's really weird. I, the sound input was not working. And it was an easy fix once I figured it out, but I want to know why it was not working originally. Two, four, six, easy six. And I know that is one of the things I always check before I start because I see way too many people going live and they start talking and all you see is their lips moving and you hear no sound. And that kind of drives me nuts because I think as a YouTuber, that is one of the things that you should be responsible for is double checking all that stuff ahead of time to make sure everything is ready to go. Uh, we have a 369 centerfield nine. But I get it. Sometimes things do happen, mistakes do happen sometimes, so not a big deal, but Doing a channel, there is some responsibilities that are associated with it, and and you need to make sure that you keep up with those responsibilities. But I will get off the wagon now. Stop harping. We have five one mixer. They died right at the wall there. And one of the things that oh, we had a mishap here. <laughs> One of the things that happened the other day, um, there we go. One of the things that happened the other day uh, was George came on and he mentioned that the energy levels in my dice have been very minimal, almost too minimal. And what I think he was referring to is that when the energy levels drop so much, what happens is the revolutions are how many times your dice spins on the way down also decreases. And if you decrease the number of revolutions, the possibility of the dice going off axis is going to be a lot greater because you lose that, we have a one, four, five here, you lose that centrifuge um, power, for lack of better terms, I guess. So in other words, when you centrifuge, you know, it's spinning and... Sound check one, two, best test, test, test. <laughs> um, that spinning of the dice helps keep the dice in, in line. Um, and that's one of the things that I think he was referring to me not having. Now, I did not really do much of a change after that episode. Um, and there's a great example of it. We have a two, one, three, ace, deuce, Alfredo sauce. The dice hit, landed, and did not go forward or backwards for that matter. They just kind of sat there. Um, and that is a small, by the way, guys. It's awesome. It's been a couple of days since we've hit the tall or the small. So that is really good to see. Um, but anyhow, we have to figure out a way. And, and I hear a lot of the other shooters talking about this. And I agree with it 100%. I do want the dice to hit the back wall. I do not want it to come off very hard though. Two and three, shocker, ace deuce again. I do not want it to come off the back wall very hard. 
but I do want them to hit the back wall. I really do. And um, thank you, Dylan. And to me, if it comes off the back wall, that way I know that it's getting to the all the way to the other end of the table. But also, I know that I'm at the correct landing zone. If I don't get it coming off the back wall, then that, to me, is something that I need to fix on the throw. 639, center field nine. So, and, and our throws are all about consistency. It, it really is. We're looking for that 8 and the 12 to hit the all right now. So the 8 and the 12 would be a nice addition to the results here. And the 8 is actually the 8 and the 12. Here we got the 12, 6, 6, midnight. I thought I hit the hit that already for this, but apparently not. We did, but that was a while ago. I don't know why I didn't register. Interesting. So we got the eight. If we can get the eight here, which is traditionally a number that I do not roll as often. In fact, when you look at my statistics, it is like 30 less rolls than what's anticipated. Now, the rule of thumb at my table is if you don't want to see or hear it, don't talk about it. We just talked about it, so let's see if it comes up. And it did not work this time. We have Magic Aces, 1-1-2. One, one, <laughs> that would have been awesome if it did work this time. Good morning, uh, Randall. I did do it again. I don't know why I said good morning because I... You've been on for a while. That's awesome. For quite a few sessions in a row there, guys. And we have a one, four, five. No, feel five. Quite a few sessions in a row there. For those of you who have not been following me long, I have hit either the small, the tall, or the all, like almost every single day for a while there. Um, might want to lay that eight, but I hit either the small, the tall, or the all, um, quite a few sessions in a row. And some days I was hitting multiple, uh, either smalls or multiple talls. It's never hit more than one all throughout the day. And we have a one, four, five again. I was going to say, we got it, guys, but no. Let's see if we can pick up a square pair here. A square pair might do it. And that is a repeater on that one roll there. This is a good shooter so far. And guys, guess what? Afraid to tell you, four, four, eight, square eight, square pair. And watch the board light up. Awesome. We have an SLR of 9.0, SRR of 5.57, or 9.7, come out sevens. We have 13 reds so far, and we hit the all. So big time payout on that one, guys. And let's keep her going. This is going to be roll number 27 coming up. So this is definitely a decent shooter. This is a type of shooter that I would really like to have in a shooting competition. Because I think this would be untouchable on that competition. How I'd be proud to even come close to it. And we have a 415. No feel five. Oh, the pretty green just went away. Darn it. <laughs> Too funny.
Oh, the dice came out separate. They kind of split apart when they came out. The left one left just slightly earlier, but we still have a 2 2 hard 4. Um, that was, did not feel comfortable coming out. I will say that right now. But guys, this is an example right here of what regular practice can do for you. Getting out and practicing on a regular basis so that way you can start identifying what the dice are doing and hopefully making the corrections on that. So if you guys noticed that one, it did not hit. They landed right on the table. They did a spin around. And that is the result of what the throw is. So three, four, seven, that is a seven out. And that was roll number 29, uh, which is all right because we did get that tall on that one. And that was a fire bet, 25 to one fire bet. So it was a four point, yeah, four point fire bet that one. The sharpshooter paid out 31. That was a huge money hand there, guys. Plus we hit the all. So if you were pointing the extra bets, that would have been a big, 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 big one. So um, I think we're gonna call it right there, guys, for the day. I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on with Crapsy uh, before we start up again tomorrow. I appreciate all the support that everybody's given. I appreciate all the kudos that everybody gave for the all, making the all. Um, but hey, let's do this right quick. Let's, I'm not gonna shoot over to my other screen because I know my microphone's not gonna work over at the other one um, with the results of the throws. But hey, welcome, our, thanks for supporting me. And we're gonna wrap it off right here. My name is Joe and this is my Craps Master Dice Shooting Journey. Let's make it yours too. Thank you very much.